is beats. Have you heard beats? Right, something like this. <laughs> something like this. So the sound will go high, then become low. Then become high, then become low. So this is what happens in case of beats. But how are these formed? What happens? Well, what is beat first of all? Beat is an interference pattern between two sound waves of slightly different frequencies. Beat is nothing but an interference that is between two waves of slightly different frequencies. Now you will say, sir, just now you have taught us standing waves, correct? Yes, I have taught you standing waves. You told standing waves is nothing but interference of two waves. <laughs> yes, that's also true. So how is a beat different from standing wave? How is it? I'll tell you the difference. In case of standing wave, what we have assumed that there are two waves and they are moving in opposite direction. They were moving in opposite direction. Two waves moving in opposite direction. They were superimposing. They were interfering with each other. In case, in case of beats, the two waves are going to move in the same direction. Same direction. The two waves are going to move in the same direction. In case of Standing waves, we told that the frequency is going to be the same. The frequency has to be the same. Okay, the frequency has to be the same. In case of beats, there has to be slight difference in the frequency. Okay, there has to be slight difference in the frequency. Now, different, different books I've seen quotes different values of frequency. What we are going to take is some standard value that is the difference in their frequency f1 minus f2, let's put a mod because you are going to do higher minus lower, should be less than or equal to, let us say, 10 hertz, not more than that. Okay, if it is more than that, you're not going to hear the beat. Cool, easy. But in this case, the beats, what we are taking is, we'll take that the amplitude for both of them is same. Amplitude for both of them is same. So even in case of uh, the standing waves, we are taking the two opposite waves coming like this, they interfere, they produce standing wave, the frequency was same, the amplitude was same, correct? But they were moving in opposite direction like this. So if two waves are moving in opposite direction like this, they interfere, what they're going to produce is a standing wave. But two waves moving along the same direction like this, with slightly difference in their frequencies, slightly difference in their frequencies, and let's take amplitude to be same, then they are going to produce beats then they're going to produce beats. So what's the similarity? If you ask me about the similarity, well, the amplitudes are same. That's the similarity. What's the difference? Well, in case of standing waves, the frequency for in, in the wave that were causing the standing wave, the waves that were superimposing on each other or were interfering on each other, their frequencies were same. But in this case, when you're talking about beats, they're traveling in the same direction and their frequencies are also different. They're slightly different. Okay, so now we understand the difference. Cool. Let us say you have got two tuning forks like this and you are generating waves like this. They superimpose and as you can see, the frequencies are different. So in first case, let us say we have got 15 hertz, which means in one second, you have got 15 cycles and the second one, it's 12 hertz. So in the second case, you have got 12 cycles per second. So in one second, there are 12 waves which are going. Okay. The equation of the first wave, that is the displacement equation, what we were writing, y1 is equal to a sine omega 1t minus k1x and y2 is equal to a sine omega 2t minus k2x. Okay. As you can see, the value of omega 1 and omega 2 are different, which means the frequencies of these waves are different. The frequency is not same. However, we have taken the amplitude to be same. All right. Now, when they superimpose, when they superimpose, what you're going to get is something like this. I'll draw roughly. I'll draw roughly. But I want all of you to have a feel of what I'm trying to draw. You'll get a wave like this. The resultant beat will be something like this. Let me draw.
something like this roughly and this pattern is going to repeat itself okay this is what you get okay a sound like ish, 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 something like this loud sound then it comes down and again a loud sound again it comes down again a loud sound again it comes down that is what we call as beats like boom boom something like this yes you're getting a feel of it so we know that if we have got two waves like this and we are talking about beats then let me show you a proper diagram of how it is going to look like this is how it is going to look like so sometimes the sound will be zero and sometime it will be very loud it's going to be very loud which means the amplitude amplitude is oscillating or the displacement of the particles is different and this displacement of the particle is different at different different time at different different time the displacement of this particle is different okay what i mean by that what what i'm trying to convey let us say you take a particle exactly at this point which is in between these two and this is x equals to zero if this is x equals to zero and you have got both the sources and from both the sources the waves are coming and they are interfering okay then what will happen over here what will be the net resultant displacement of this particle we have seen in superposition that it is a vector sum of y1 vector plus y2 vector we have seen that correct so it is going to be a superimposed it is going to be a interference of the two waves and the net wave is going to look like this and this is what we call as beat so the net sound that you hear suddenly a loud sound and then it will fade away then again suddenly a loud sound then again it will fade away like i told you the sound something like this this is what you hear as beats